The other day, I saw a card that I really loved, and the flower on it was had been made with a dye. And my first reaction was, I really need to buy this dye. But then I thought I could use something else that I've got to make one. So I rummaged through my dyes, and I came across this one, which is a memory box buckle flower dye. And I thought I, I can use this to make a flower. These are the flowers that I made from this dye. So I'll show you now what I did. So I started off by putting it through my cuttle bug. And cut it out. There we go. I've got a, a little piece of magnet sh ma magnetic sheet on the side of my um, carousel here and I just put my dies on just to stop them from getting lost. Anyway, there is the cutout die. Now what I'm going to do is uh, make some with the longer petals and some with the shorter. Now I've cut some already with the longer so I'm just going to cut the shorter ones now. So following around the line I'm going to go cut out just on the right hand side because I'm right handed. I used to teach my children in school that you always need to be looking at what you're cutting. So if you kind of cut that way you, you can't look past the scissors. So I always try and leave the body of what I'm cutting on the left of my scissors. So I've gone round on the left so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut out the other side. So there we go. Bit by bit, the pieces will fall out. There we go. Now, when you cut out, you don't get the same effect on the line as you do if you die cut something. So, I like to just sort of tidy up the edges a little bit by smoothing them round with an embossing tool. So, just go around the edges, and it just makes the edges that you've cut look a bit more like the edges that have been die cut. There we go. Hope you can see all this because I can't look at the monitor and what I'm doing at the same time. There we go. Now I'm going to take out all the bits. From inside. There we are. Get rid of those. Here's another one that I cut earlier. I don't think I've done the edges with this one. Just give them a little rub around. Just make them look a little bit better. There we go. And then I can stack one on top of the other. A little dog glue and then just slightly offset one from the other like that pushing around a little bit there we go and for the small ones I thought three layers was enough but for, for the larger ones I've got four so I'll just do these four here now There's trying to keep the, the, the centre exactly on top of each other and then just offsetting the edges a little bit. I don't normally work on a craft mat on my um, glass mat, but the reflection from the glass mat was rather too much on the screen, so I've just popped the craft mat on the top to try and dull it down a little bit. There we go. Now, just to fill in the middle, what I used was this. It's the smallest of the Dynamics pierced circles. So just cut one of those out quickly. And pop that on the top. It's just really simple and very effective I think. 
there we go and there's the flower so the same with the with the little one using three layers and then I decided I wanted to make this um, pennant shape here this pennant well I do have a dynamics pierced pendant which matches with the center of the flowers but of course it's too long so what I do is like I did in a previous video start with the, the business end you know the the, the the fishtail end and cut that out oops I've got a load of bits on there there we, there we are part way through and come back out now I need to see how long I need to make it so it needs to be about two there so that should do nicely now what I've got to do is to match those teeth again just feel through the, the rough part of the um, base plate make sure those teeth are engaged in the previous holes carefully put it down and part way again and then come back and now I have a shorter fishtail pennant than the die just like that one there so now all I have to do is assemble it pop that on there stick on my one flower stick on my second one if I could find it you know what I've done with it story of my life but you get the idea I don't know where it's gone to how bizarre so there you are how to make a flower from a dye that doesn't actually look quite like the flower itself. I hope you uh, had a little inspiration from this and you'll get more out of your own dyes at home. Thanks for watching.